For eyes today, I'm going to be trying out the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow. They came out with a whole line of these. I have two colors. The one I'm going to use today is 750 in the shade Vanilla, and it is a white, shimmery shadow. And these launched this month at drugstores and mass retailers, but they were available at Walmart back in October. They come in 12 shades. Um, they retail for $7.99, and they are wearable shades that each contain finely milled pigments to offer a smooth application for the perfect burst of color. They're formulated with a unique blend of ingredients and strong, flexible polymers. The cream shadows are long-wearing and are waterproof for up to 24 hours of wear. Apply one layer for a soft, delicate look or build for an intense, glamorous finish. Mix and match for your best look yet. And they have a built-in brush in the cap of each jar, which is very clever, Revlon. Good job. <clears throat> so let's open this baby up so I can show you what they're talking about. So this is what it looks like. It's a, I think, plastic jar. You can see the color on the bottom. Once you take off the packaging, you don't know what color this is. But anyway, the brush pulls right out of the lid, which is really cute. And I am just gonna use this as like a lid primer today. Shimmery white, pretty. Okay, so that's just a very light sheen. And then I'm gonna try it with the brush on the other side. Okay, that applies it a bit more intensely, not as thinned out. Now I wore this one yesterday, I believe, under my eye look, and it lasted all day. So I was very impressed. These remind me of the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Shadows, but these are a little creamier. And they come with a brush. So, A plus for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry for a minute. I am gonna be trying out the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels palette. This is a new one from them. I don't believe I've tried any CoverGirl shadow palettes in the past, so this will be my first. So let's check out some of the pigmentation on these. I'm immediately drawn to the green, purple, and rose gold colors, these three. So let's check these out. Rose gold, purple, oh wow. These are super pigmented, look at that. These are all shimmery satin colors that only one that I could see using as a transition would be this one. So I am gonna go ahead and do that while I figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of this look. All right, so I'm taking my Sephora and Pantone Universe crease brush. I've had this for years. It's my favorite. Ooh, yikes. Lots of powdery fallout here. Okay, so maybe just dip. Don't, you see that? Dip, don't um, run your brush along the shadow. And I don't know if anyone else gets this, but I've recently started getting eczema on my eyelid right here. It's so strange. Some days I'll have it and other days I won't. Can you see that? Like dry patch right there. So that was like a nice mauve gray color. It doesn't show up a ton, but that's okay. Next, I think I want to do this rosy gold color and I'm going to spray, put it on my finger and then spray some Fix Plus on it to see how it applies wet. And I'm applying this on top of the Revlon cream shadow. Very intense. Okay, these are super intense shadows. Look at this color. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to do a little bit of the green 
on probably the outer half of my eye. Let us see. Okay, this is very flaky, dusty. It's not even sticking to my eye. So maybe it's best to apply with fingers. So very, very dusty shadows. But the color pigment is amazing. Can you see the particles of glitter from the shadow that fell all over my face? So tons of fallout. I'm going to use their little shadow brush in the purple. Very pigmented. Just on the outer corner. Okay, so I like that. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit of the black just on the very outer portion. Okay, I like that. Next, we have the Alme Pen Eyeliner. It has a ball point tip. Liquid liner made easy. Provides high impact color all day, glides on smoothly, hypoallergenic, removes easily with Makeup remover, place ballpoint tip at the base of lashes and sweep from inner corner to outer corner of eye. Okay, this is in the shade black. And these come in three colors. They retail for $8.49 and they're available this month. So you can see the tiny little ball at the end. I'm gonna try this eye first. Base of the lashes. Sweep out. That worked surprisingly well. Let's try this eye. Since it has this ball point, I feel like it gives you the perfect, perfect thickness of eyeliner without having to go over it multiple times. Elme, I'm very impressed by this actually. I normally don't like the gimmicky liner tips, but this one works really well. Now to do a wing, I'm not sure, but I'm just lining my lash line today. Okay, and then I'm going to take the vibrant blue color and smudge it along my lower lash line. And then for the eyes, I am going to curl. And then I'm going to try out the Makeup Academy Professional Amp Up Adjustable Impact Mascara. I saw this in CVS a couple weeks ago and I thought it was such a cool idea. You have an option for natural, length enhancing, length and volume, and maximum volume. So it looks like you twist something and it gives you different results. Here is for a natural look, use the first setting. Twist once for medium coverage to elongate the lashes. Twist twice for full coverage with lengthening and thickening. And then four for maximum coverage and maximum volume. So I'm going to do one eye with natural. Because <clears throat> this is the natural one. I haven't twisted it at all. Okay, so this is natural. And then it says you twist. Oh, wow. Twist once. Twist twice. Twist three times. Can you see how much more curvy this has gotten? That's really neat. Let's try that again on the other eye and see what results we get. I don't know about you, but I don't really see much difference from one to the next. I feel like this one maybe separated a little bit more than the other, but it's not very noticeable. I'm gonna go back to normal though for my lower lashes. 
Okay, so there's the low, the regular straight mascara wand. So it's a decent mascara, but I don't know if the twisty gimmick really does anything. Try it out and let me know what you think. I am curious. And then the last new product that I'm trying today is the Almay Brow Pencil. Use the pointed triangular tip to define the flat edge to fill and the spoolie brush to tame hair for a soft yet sculpted look. These come in dark blonde and brunette. Really, Almay? You only have two shades? Um, and they retail for $8.49. They are available this month. And just going back to the lipstick, it still feels soft, not drying, not feeling in my cracks. So, all right, so it looks like this, spoolie on one end and, oh, huh, triangle tip at one end. Spoolie. Now I'm going to try this intense butter gloss from NYX on top of the lipstick I already applied. So there you have it, my face using all new products to me or things that came out recently. So I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time guys. Bye.